will have a transition period of about a month or so after the election. But who will even run? I'm sure there are plenty of people in this town willing to run for the office of mayor and make a difference in helping its growth. But you're the mayor! Nah, not anymore. Jane, I gave it up when I let an evil vulture ransack my town. You didn't know he was evil when you let him ransack the town. But I should have, Jane! I should have! Just because you need, you, you made one mistake doesn't make you a bad mayor. This town needs you, sir. No, th this town needs someone who can protect them from bad people. Not me. But... I've made up my mind. It's time for this town to move on. Whether... No, it, it's, it's, it's time. Now, where's my clipboard? I've got to go to some local businesses and, and walk them through what will be happening during the transition period. It's in your hands, sir. It is? Oh! Oh, I suppose it is. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. All right. Off I go. <sighs> sir. Good day! It is I! Dress... Leonard. That doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Ah! Mayor Leonard! How wonderful it is to see you! Would you like your usual table for a weekly planning meeting? Oh, no, no, no. Not, not today, Hank. I am... Um... I actually came by to uh, prepare you for the transition. Transition? For for what? <laughs> for what? what? Would you like to have a meeting booth instead of a meeting table from now on? No, no, no. no, no, no nothing like that. You see, um, I have a... Well, I've decided it's a... It is with great grief and lots of thought that I've decided to not run for mayor again this year. No! Indeed, I, I'm, I'm afraid it's true. But, but who would take care of the town? I'm sure there are plenty of people jumping at the opportunity to run for mayor. The good 30% of my patronage comes from your weekly town meetings here. And those town meetings will continue to happen, just not with me leading them. Look, I've written out a plan, and I'll give you a copy to go over and pursue your, in, your leisure time, you know? Sir, I respect your decision, but this is just madness! I've let this town down one too many times, and I'm not going to do it again. Look, alright, if I lead these flyers here with you, Give them out to the patrons to inform them that of, of a change, okay? Let them know that, that they can run all they want. And if they'd like to have the opportunity, they can run for mayor as well. I suppose I, I'll, I will. If this is what you really want. It is indeed, Hank. I'll be sending out a message in the next few days, officially announcing my resignation. And all of those meetings... Oh, goodness gracious. The full breakdown of the transition now. Excuse me, I have more businesses to discuss with. Of course, Mary Leonard. Have a nice day. Thank you, Hank. Oh, and um, don't don't worry about calling me Mr. Mayor or uh, or Mayor Leonard anymore. It, it's just it's just simply Leonard. Elton, Elton, are you here? Elton, of course I'm in here, Mayor Leonard. What have I not been in here? Are you here for your weekly hair trim and discuss my expansion ideas? Oh, oh no, dearie me, I. I completely forgot I promised to discuss this potential franchising of your business. Oh, oh no. No worries, sir. We'll just discuss it while I give you your new hairdo for the re-election coming up. I think it's time for a whole new look for you. That's actually why I, I came to talk to you about. Are you thinking of something a little younger? Maybe more dignified? That, that That's just it, Elton. Um, I won't be running for re-election this year. <laughs> Don't be silly. You can't not run. It's your whole personality. No. No. No, it's not. All you ever talk about is just bettering the town. I had a personality before I was mayor. Name one personality trait. I collected stamps. That's a hobby, not a personality. Face it, sir. You were born to do this. Let's not update you. Okay, no. We're going to update your mail look now. Yes? No, no. 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 Elton, no. I put a lot of thought into this, and... I, I'm not running again. That's my final decision. Well, I guess there goes my franchise then. Well, just because I won't be here anymore doesn't mean someone else won't talk to you about your, you know, possibility of expanding your business. I, I came up with a whole transition plan here. That you, you hear, take take one of my leaflets. Every meeting I, I have ever planned before this whole transition is just right here in this pamphlet. Just 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 take a look. No. W with all due respect, sir, your appointments make around fifty percent of my day. Without your patronage, I have no business. Even as a civilian, I still need haircuts. I promise you your business will run as usual. Elton, just read the plan. I'll be sending out an official letter later today, and there will be a meeting to discuss any concerns. Now, if you excuse me, I still have a few more stops on my goodbye tour. Well, if it's a goodbye tour, then goodbye to you, Mayor Leonard. Goodbye to my business.
Walter? Are you in here? I... I need to talk. Leonard! Splendid to see you! Now, Will and I just made some hot chocolate. Sit down and have some. Thanks, but no thanks. Sit. Today I need the hard stuff. You got any coffee? Hmm. I'm sure I can find some. What's got you down? It's, it's just been a long day. You care to elaborate? Well, today was my goodbye tour, but everybody I informed about my resignation seemed so distraught. Like, I, I didn't even think about how they would feel about it at all. You're actually not running for re-election? Yes! You were there when I decided not to do it! <laughs> I didn't think you were being literal. I thought you were just overwhelmed and would change your mind in a few minutes. Walter, I have made so many mistakes. I can't to get cautious put the town through two more years of me. Just because you've made mistakes doesn't mean that you're a bad mayor. Think of all the wonderful things you've done for this town. No, no, not, not you too. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have the beautiful community center or, or even the museum. Walter, I, I've already given it lots of thought. The good does not outweigh the bad. I am not running for mayor again. This is your own town, your family. You built it from the ground up. Not anymore. We'll just we'll have to find someone else. If we're not going to be mayor, then who will be? Not a single person in this town has any desire to be mayor. Who is going to run? Now, I think I may have a solution to your boys' problem. Victor, I thought I told you to get out of my town. You did, and I have. But, as you have said, this isn't your town anymore. And anyone's welcome to run for mayor, even me, my brother Vlad. You're not saying. Indeed, I am, and I would like to apply for the new mayor of Snowden.